What's up, everybody? This is Truth with Icon Hip Hop. Right now, I'm standing with Concise the Black Knight. Checkmate the Hustler. Two local rappers from Vancouver were performing with Souls of Mischief. They just killed that shit. So, so you were saying like you guys are from, you know, you you obviously have put some time and you guys are OG. So when did you guys first link up, and uh, and and what made you guys click and and connect with each other? This this is the only motherfucker who like could rap as good as me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's yeah. that's what it was at yeah. the time. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> and you know you know that you know I was just like he could only make the game stronger, right? And besides that, you know we just vibe organically. You know, right. the m number one thing to us is the music. Beyond all the cloud chasing and you know whatever the fame and all that, even though we've achieved certain things in our time, you know what I'm saying really we we really love music, so we want to keep the music tight. We're both producers, we're both rappers, and that's the one thing. Every project we do, we keep it tight. You know what I'm saying, and keep keep it sonically profound, trying to push it. We also try to support the younger artists, younger generation, anybody doing anything fresh. I fucking love it. Yeah, yeah. I love you. I'm support you. You know what I'm saying. Definitely, like, stop that hating on niggas shit. Definitely not. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. What would you say is the key to, to being able to maintain a duo or maintain, like, a relationship like this for, for this long? Man, that's a really good question. Um, I'd say always bring something to the table. You know what I mean? Always bring something to the table. Um, it's a 50-50, like in any relationship. Or 100-100, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh... You know, I think what happens to people is they, you know, in group relationships or whatever, somebody might lose the passion for it and be like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. You know what I mean? So we've never felt that. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I never said die. Neither has he. Right. So uh, the other thing I'd, I'd say, bring something to the table, but also never say die. Right. Never say die, man. Like, you die when you die. You know what I'm saying? Until then, just keep it rocking. I mean... It, if the shit working out, you know what I mean? Keep it keep it rocking, you know what I mean? So bring something to the table and never quit. Hell yeah, hell yeah, absolutely. I just have a question. Which one of you was the first one with the mustache? Shit, well, when I had a mustache, she couldn't even grow one, so it's going to be me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I met him, you know I me mean, when I was just coming in the game, and he already had some uh, traction in the game with Northern Touch and all that. You know, he's featured on a very big Canadian song, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, uh, we lived in the same neighborhood, and uh, Checkmate put me on, you know what I mean? So, yeah, he had the first mustache. <laughs> so what, what what can you say about Northern Touch? Like what what do you uh, what do you remember about that experience and uh, what does that mean to you now? It was lit, you know what I'm saying. When we shot the video, I was living with my girl in a two bedroom suite in like Burnaby by Metrotown and shit. It was a one bedroom. <laughs> it was a one bedroom. We got the the truth. We got a, a fact check off off camera. You see that? You see that? Uh, Anyways, yeah, and uh, that shit changed my life basically because, you know, it made me like kind of like a household name and, and like, you know, medium famous, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know about me anyways, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's a nice like launching platform for a career because, you know, it's very, very hard to achieve that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, without like a vehicle. You know, so and, and that was the vehicle for me. And then since then, I've been on a level, you know what I'm saying? It's like nobody can never really take it away from me, which, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be complacent about it. You know, I always work on my craft and try to do the best we can. We love music, right? right. But, uh, yeah, yeah, that elevated me. That's a blessing beyond blessings, bro. Uh, rappers will rap their whole life, you know, in, you know, and go through the turmoil and never achieve that. You got to get something that, you know, takes you over that top, you know, through that. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. Like if you look back, like before, like 2008, like <laughs> I mean, before Drake came, right? Like that's that was hard. It is, bro. That's that's how hard it is, bro. Since Northern Touch, we was like waiting for somebody to break that ceiling, and nobody really did. It's not to say that there wasn't many, many talented artists who came through, but. Hey, man, the timing got to be right, you know what I'm saying? And I got to be honest with you, the label's got to be involved, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, enough respect to, you know, independent artists and everything, but to achieve that kind of, like, you know, level, like, you know, become a household name, it's probably going to be something to do with the majors and the industry, right? Right. And just just one more question about Northern Touch. So, like, it's kind of like, 
it's like what what the fuck was the idea behind that like who came up with that and who put that together and like how the fuck did that happen so that's funny you mention it the guy who is running this very event tonight the booking like agent for this venue the hollywood theater his name is jay swing he used to be my dj many many moons ago and we used to like host a radio show we go way back he was putting out mixtapes in around about 99, 98, 99. And on the mixtape, uh, Chemo had the Northern Touch beat. Yeah. You know, he had heard it and he was like, yo, I'm going to just do a little The Rascals featuring Checkmate, I believe. I don't know if anybody else was on it, but it was just for his mixtape. An executive at BMG, I ain't going to say his name, but they heard the shit. And they was like, yo, that's really lit we should put some Toronto cats on it too. Yeah. And then record it like pro and put it on the yeah. album. So it went from a mixtape joint with just some West Coast cats on it. And the Rascals was cool with Cardinal and, and Chocolare and Thrust, obviously. And so they, yeah, they recorded their part in Toronto. I never even met them. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say it just seems like such a, a moment for Canadian hip hop where where like things just like you know where we're at least like symbolically unified in that moment. I'm just saying, bro, you know what it is like catching lightning in a motherfucking bottle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the timing has to be correct. All the elements have to come together. All the players within that equation have to pull their weight all at the same time to make that fucking epic fucking star rise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we was lucky to be part of that, bro. I've always maintained ever since I was part of that, I was like, shit, I ain't got nothing to do with it, bro. Right, right, I wrote right. 16 bars on the bus on the way to the studio. That's what <laughs> I did. Like yeah. for real, bro. Yeah, yeah. And the rest is all, all those other, you know, pieces coming together to make that everybody who has a hit record knows what it takes to bring it together and it's a fucking lot yeah 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 no it's it, it, like i totally understand because it's like when you look back it just like it seems like it came out of nowhere drop and then just exploded and then it's just this thing that just sat there and like you know it, it's just a weird thing but i it's, I'm, i appreciate you sharing that respect yeah thank you very much so what uh what do you do to challenge yourself as a lyricist obviously you've been rapping for a long time so what do you do today writing that uh challenges you as a lyricist and as an artist hmm you can't rhyme cat, hat, and bat anymore. Yeah, I'm not really trying to challenge myself at this point. I'm just trying to make dope songs. Okay, so, okay. So I just go in the studio, and I try and make dope songs. If I don't feel like it's dope, it's not coming out. Right, you know right, what I mean? right. So I just make sure I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah, stuff. So, nice stuff. Yeah, man, just, uh, I'm just trying to make dope songs. I mean, it's enough of a challenge to make dope songs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. so... Uh, I'm not saying dope songs by any sort of formula or anything. Just I go in there and try and make music that I want to hear. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah, you stay sharp by staying writing. Right, yeah. right, right. So just keep writing. And, uh, yeah, you get better like anything, man. If you don't practice, you won't be good. You know <laughs> that's, good that's a good point. You know, like um, I'm still like the original form, you know what I mean? I sit there and and write it out right well i don't might not be a pen and a pad it might be in my phone or something but like i formulate it and make sure it sounds dope and make sure i love it before i put it out there you know what i mean right right so like when you guys are working together you said both of you produce right yeah. so like when when uh when do you bring like a song to him and when does he bring a song to you like what does that song look like in that moment and and what's going on and well, we, we we meet in the studio every once in a while right yeah right. so i'll just play him tracks i've been working on right he'll play me songs he's been working on and be like yo you want to hop on this and i want to hop on that sometimes we write together right you know it's very organic right right yeah it's very organic it's not forced we've been doing it for a long time you know so right uh i'll email him songs you know what i mean like he'll just have something playing when i come in the studio we'll try and meet up to do something but he's always staying busy he's always working on so, uh solo projects i'm always working on solo projects and we work we're featured on each other's albums sometimes we do joint albums as defenders right 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 yeah yo i was uh i was just wondering like um uh wh when do you when uh do you know to take like have you guys ever had a period where you had to take time from each other or take a break from stuff or thought that you weren't going to continue working nah i gotta be honest not really but life has conspired to make you know yeah. situations more difficult you know yeah. what i'm saying the one thing about us is 
we're more than like working partners, you know, he's actually my actual friend, okay. you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, his happiness is important to me. And when things happen, like the birth of a child or your marriage, you got to take time for your real life, you know what I'm saying? And I think we respect each other's actual real lives enough you know we care about each other enough yeah. to do that yeah. and then music you know as much as we love it sometimes uh, I don't feel no way about you know just doing shit on my own yeah 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 you know and, and he don't feel no way about yeah, it that's nice. and then we always try to slip each other in the fold because we got the best intentions for each other you know what I'm saying so I think a mutual like you know respect and appreciation for what we when he said bring something to the table it's because we continually amaze each mm -hmm. other by bringing something to the table mm -hmm. and motivating each other and it's a nice thing bro like for real it's uh, it's it's a blessing yeah 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 and also just like life um, puts you makes you busy like he's busy i'm yeah. busy as well so we already have that you know what i'm saying our own we're really in our own worlds because we both have families we're raising right. we're raising families and children and stuff. Right, so right. we naturally have that space you know what i'm saying so it's not like we're stuck in the yeah. room all the time we're yeah. stuck in the van all the yeah, time yeah. and just like oh getting at each other's throats i think that's what happens to uh groups and duos is they stuck with each other 24 yeah. 7 and they just like, man, I'm tired of this motherfucker. So yeah, especially if you never like find your legs on your own. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. we have our own space. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. grown man. We have our own lives and stuff. And yeah. really, what bonds us is the music. You know yeah, I mean? uh, you know what I mean. Uh, he one of the illest rappers in the yeah. world. You know what I'm saying? So like, to be able to have the opportunity to work with somebody like that is a blessing. How can right. you? How could see it? How could you? How could it be any of a problem? You know what I mean? Plus, he cool ass checks. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so one, one question I was gonna ask you too, because like I know what it's like to like work with with someone like closely and like you know like develop that relationship over time. But and you know and there's like friend. I'm sure I'm assuming that there's friendly kind of competition where you guys push each other. But I'll just have a question. What's one one time where the other dude wrapped a verse that just had you like sweating, like like oh shit, how how am I gonna like match this? Oh, everyone, he's, he's my mentor, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so like, but you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he feels. I'm sure every once in a while. Okay, okay, okay. There was one time though, bro, because I'm used to, like, I don't care who in the room, bro. I usually think, like, I'm, I'm the best. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. and there's like been niggas in the room. I ain't right. even gonna say their name because it'd be disrespectful. Where I was like, oh no, no. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm way, I'm, way, I'm like, I'm way better than that yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But there was one time, man, we was doing a session. I'll never forget. It was with Chemo, man, and it was like it was at a certain studio, man, and we was both on a song, bro. And I, I, I can't even recall the song, bro. But, bro. It hit me deep in my soul when I realized that what that what he spat was I was just like, Oh my god. And I tried my hardest too, bro, but he was just so in the pocket in that song, it was undeniable, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think it's the first time I ever had to take a L. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. and knew it in my soul. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And just like, yo, they, hey man, everybody gotta learn. It's the yeah. first time for everything, and I'm glad it was him and shit. And I'm a very competitive person. You know, say, like, yo, let that soak in, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, let yeah. that fucking hurt soak in, bro. Yeah, yeah, Save yeah. that for later and go harder. Yeah, exactly, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to push you a little bit harder. Your homie winning, yeah. you know what I'm saying, is a, a win for everybody. So 100%. you want to see your homie killing it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. So, so, like, that's what I expect of him. That's what he expects of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it works out. You know? Right. We always bring our best. But, yeah, I mean, it ain't easy, you know what I'm saying, being next to one of the illest lyricists. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, we hold our own wherever we go. You know yeah, what I'm saying? He said, yo, he, he, sung, he can sum me anytime on a track. Now, we do songs all the time where he clearly, like, I'm like, oh, shit, this was, you was really on this one. I, I don't even feel, it wasn't like back then. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel no way about it. Like, I love him winning. Him winning is me winning. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Feeling. Yeah. Totally, totally, man. It's weird because like I feel like it's it's really easy to um you know like get get kind of like caught up in like oh shit it wasn't me but like the minute that I feel like you recognize that some your partner's success is your success, it's a way easier situation. Yo, speaking of speaking of that, speaking of uh, celebrating the wins of the of the people around you, like what can you guys say about um uh, about like the the culture of hip hop as a community and how, and the importance of uh, coming together as a community. 
especially here where we we don't have like you know like you said the labels that are you know doing shit for us yeah i mean i think it's the fans right if you go in the venue tonight you right you're gonna see a wide you know age range of people you know some are young you know trying to you know experience them old school 90s vibes right some motherfuckers are actually from the 90s you know what i'm saying like me you know what i'm saying we was there and uh the community of it music in general is love and brings people together that's why me and artists like concise do this shit because we know the power of that you know what i'm saying even if the 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 vibe of it is dark it's still a bonding thing you know what i'm saying and it's still a vibe that unites people so we've met people of all races colors and creeds and they all like just fucking love us so much and we got love for them just through this hip-hop thing you know what I'm saying? People I would never ever have an opportunity to meet before and they would never have any reason to meet me. You know what I'm saying? So that's a powerful thing. You cannot ignore that. You know what I'm saying? Any artist, like, you know, their medium is a way of communicating with humanity. Yo, music is crazy, bro. It shit is, it's a big, big thing. It's not to be underestimated. And you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I can attest to it. It's a big part of my life. It never will not be. Right. Yeah. Can you speak, um, do you have any experience or any appreciation for ciphering or cipher culture at all? Do you ever participate in a cipher? I mean, we came out of that, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that was what was hot at the time when we were doing our thing. So, yeah, man, ciphers are dope. That's a good way to sharpen your skills and all that. So, yeah, I mean, me, myself, I just, like, I'm at a point where I'm just making art making albums, concept albums, and I gotta sit with my ideas and plan them out right. and all that, you know what I mean? But ciphers are dope, man. Right, right, right. It's a, it's a good place to kind of cut your teeth and, and, yeah, and... I mean, if you're up and coming, definitely get in there and, you know what I mean, sharpen up and, and uh, battle, yeah, if that's your thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was my thing at one point, but, you know, where I'm at right now, I'm just, I'm into, like, making albums and songs and all that, but, yeah. Absolutely. Cypher rappers. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Shout out. I mean, I get in the cypher if it need be, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have to get you. We might have to get you out on a Tuesday. We do a cypher every Tuesday. It's just crazy. Right. We're going to have to get you out. Yo, I'm here with Concise and Checkmate. They just held it down for the Souls of Mischief two nights in a row here at the Hollywood Theater. And you guys have more than earned the right to say whatever you want to the people. Let them know what's up. Let them know where to check for you. Word, man, uh, wherever you listen to music, you know, look me up, Checkmate, Checkmate the Hustle, Checkmate the Rapper. Uh, we just put an album out, Pro Game, featuring Concise, you know, put like four albums out in the last four years. So go peep the music, it's all about the music, you know what I'm saying? If you like it, peace. If you don't, it's all good, man, we just out here doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I would just say check out my last release, Weather the Storm, it's available wherever you listen to music. Um... Yeah, look out for more music from me. Follow me on the social media, um, Concise604, Instagram, and all the other shit. No, appreciate it. It's been true for Icon Hip Hop. Take care, y'all. Peace and love.